This is by far the best, most durable, and most sexy way to glue foam. Fly, fish, food, 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 food. Okay, in order to glue foam, you have to be in a very nicely aerated environment, like your garage with the door open, your backyard, or a fly shop with no ventilation at all. But that's where we have the camera and it's nighttime. So anyway, these two products are ones that you need. I'm telling you you need them. We don't even sell them. I, I don't have a dog in this fight, but these are absolutely the best spray adhesives that you can get. And these are the ones that you'll need. 7-7 is the old standard. And this is the one that we've used for a long time. It's easier to use. And 90 is like, you could glue, like what? You could glue like a regular sized hat to my head and we could go in the bass boat and it wouldn't fly off. That's how good it is, all right? Have a big hit. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna check it out. So. You got to order something in from Patagonia. This cardboard came directly from Patagonia. So in our Patagonia order, we got it. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of foam blocks that are glued with foam. So we'll do a foam block and we'll just do normal sheet foam. So we've got this yellow stuff. I'm going to glue on some three millimeter uh, foam onto that one, maybe like right here. And then I'm also going to take just like two two millimeter sheets and glue those together. So we will do golden tan. Look at that, that's just hoppery. Okay, so first things first, get scissors. I forgot. Them. So I'm going to take this foam and just kind of measure out how thick I want it to be. And I grab the smallest scissors I could. And so that's gonna go on here, and then these two are just gonna glue together. So I'm gonna lay those out nicely. And just to kind of show you the consistencies, the triple seven, if I shake it, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of of the adhesive right here. So as you can see, it lays down nice and smooth and clear. This is the one that I'm gonna use on this video. But if you use the 90, you can see it's got the cheech sized cap on it. It's just fat. So it's a more kind of stringy, thick material. Also, if you use the 90, let it sit for 24 hours or else you're going to have your foam fall, fall apart in the vise. The 77 is a little more forgiving. So, I'm just going to come in here and pretend like I'm spray painting my skateboard or Curtis's spray painting his computer. Not too much, but not too little. Okay, that's enough. Now you need to let that sit until it dries. 20 minutes later. Okay, so we've let our foam dry and it should be kind of just tacky to the touch. So you can see I'm touching it, it kind of wants to lift up with my finger, but it's not like still greasy. It's not like Curtis's hair gel. It's like stiffer than that. So now I'm gonna take this and pick it up by the sides. And this, look at that. It's wanting to stick to my fingers. So what I'm gonna do now is, you gotta be real careful about this because once you stick this, it is not coming off. And we'll just put this like that. Give it a nice squeeze. It doesn't have to line up perfectly because you're gonna just punch it out or cut it. And this guy, same program. Boom, oh, that was a bad job. But the reason we show you this is check this out. 
You can make bionic ants out of this. You can see the gunville cutters and you can see how to cut this out in our, uh, what's it called? The wiener dog hopper. Wiener mobile. Freak. I don't even know. Can't take the, you anywhere. The wiener mobile hopper. The, vi the clicky link on the video <laughs> is below. So once you have them like this, you could spray on another layer of adhesive to this and another sheet and make it a triple decker. But once you do this, you got to find some way to weight it down. Follow me, camera. Curtis is going to fall over. So, we're going to come over here. Those aren't heavy enough. We're going to get, oh yes, the new Patagonia foot tractors. We're going to put those on this one. And just imagine that this one's under there too. So let them sit, let them sit under pressure, I don't know, for 20, 30 minutes. Then you take it out, you got foam that's tieable, and you're good to go.